G.J. Hart California Pizza Kitchen is transforming its restaurants. It's making every store unique. So why are you trying to de-chain the chain? Well, it's all about trying to make a genuine connection in the community that we're in and with the guests that would dine with us. And so by being part of that community, emulating part of what is special about that community is important to us to make that connection. It's not just about California. It's about that community. And what are you finding in terms of traffic across your restaurant base? Because there's a lot of options out there now. It's not just burgers and pizza and fried chicken. You have Mexican and wings, a lot of different options. Well, it's about making that experience special. And that special experience has to start with the great food, obviously. And then it's awesome hospitality in an environment that people want to be in. So part of what we're doing right now in transforming our business is taking a menu, broadening it what's unique and special by putting a twist on whether, whether it be a pizza or whether it's a steak, which is new on our menu today. Creating a hospitality to where we really understand what you're there for, time and occasion, as we like to call it. And then thirdly, having an environment that's comfortable, bringing the outside in more California-isk, if you will, and really just trying to have some fun with it and create something that's more relevant for today. And CPK, if I may, has always been uh, more towards healthy ingredients. But a lot of other pizza players are sticking with the old formula. Actually, in fact, they're trying to put cheese everywhere or hot dogs in certain places. So can you talk about the, the national trend towards healthier ingredients and what's going on in the pizza business? Well, first, we're more than pizza. So less than a third of our entrees, if you will, are, are pizza. But pizza is a big piece. It's in our middle name for sure. Ingredients are where it's, uh, it's at. It's really fresh, seasonal, special ingredients that people can see. So clearly that will have a little better um, healthy effect for you. So on any item that we do, we're really conscious about that. In terms of adding um, items on our menu, it's things like quinoa and farro and ingredients that are healthy and that have that healthy halo today, we think have great relevance in where we're positioned in Polish Casual at California Pizza Kitchen. How many stores do you have now? How many do you plan to have by the end of the year? And also, with regard to your expansion, because of the improving economy, are you finding that you have to pay up more for the real estate? Well, so today we have 280 restaurants, about 200 in the U.S., and yes, we will grow slowly, but first things first is to transform the restaurants that we have, and doing this new look and new hospitality and new food is a big, big process. And we're treating them as if they're a new restaurant opening, so it's going through that whole process. And then internationally, we're growing substantially. We have great partners around the world. We're in 15 countries today, and we plan to add three or four more countries in the next 12 months, and we'll, we'll open up between 15 and 18 restaurants. And what about competitors? Do you compare yourself against Domino's, Papa John's, or do you say more will it go more towards, I don't know, some of the uh, middle-end Italian restaurants? Well, we're in the casual dining segment. We like to think we're on what we would define as the polished casual, a little higher scale. Yes, in terms of pizza, we would compete with lots of folks, but it's more share of stomach. Because of our unique experience and unique menu that we have, we cut across lots of, lots of different boundaries. In terms of our core guests, it's more uh, the millennials, people that are well, more sophisticated foodies, people that really enjoy food. So in a net nutshell, we have somewhat of a captured environment, but we would compete with people uh, that are in locations where we might be, the Cheesecake Factories, the P.F. Chang's, those type of folks. And then finally, let's talk about a different piece of the pie, if you will, my investment portfolio. You're currently owned by Golden Gate Capital, a private equity player. We've seen a lot of restaurant stocks hit the market and do very well, whether it be Shake Shack or Wingstop. Uh, what are the plans for California Pizza Kitchen? Well, the plans right now are to have this transformation be very successful, have our guests give us a shot and really come down with us more often, and then we'll see what happens. Right now, it's first things first. Thank you, J.J. Hart. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching The Street.